हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट टू ऑफ एलएलएम एल एक्सप्लेन्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो दैट इज इन द पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ब्रीफली ऑन हाउ ए डी कोडर वर्क इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज एम क्यू ए एंड व्हाट इज जी क्यू ए दैट इज व्हाट इज मल्टी क्वेरी अटेंशन एंड वॉट इज नथिंग बट ग्रुप क्वेरी अटेंशन इनफैक्ट दीज टू ऑफ द टेक्निक्स इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई गूगल and uh, google has released a paper on qa on i think during 2019 and it has also released a paper on gqa on somewhere on i think at the end of uh, december or december 2023 i think but anyway i will uh, have the papers link in the description section of this video so in this video i think before even talking about mqa and gqa let's talk about how a typical multi head attention works i know we have talked about this in multiple videos as well but i think we will quickly recap how a multi head attention works it will help in understanding how a mq and gk works so in the all of this uh, i think i'll be showing couple of images because at all these images are taken by on the paper of gqa i am taking how a token works and i'll not be talking about how head as a together works or how layer together works there are a lot of nitty-gritty details just to keep the topic simple just to uh, make the life easier i'll be taking about how a tokens go through all of this process so in this example let's see about how a multi-headed attention works this is for a given token of course i think here in this case it is eight heads that means for a given token we have generated eight queries and eight corresponding keys and also eight corresponding values and for a given token in this head query will be multiplied with the keys and we have already seen the formula of self attention where we have divided by the square root of d and we take the softmax and it will be multiplied with the values then the same operation will be done for the rest of the heads and finally that will be weighted i think weighted average of all of those why what i mean by weighted average we have the attention of each of the tokens and uh, we will just sum it up and that's what the token representation we get for a given token so we know that this is a operation of order of n square moreover when we had discussed about flash attention we know that one of the important things in the hardware perspective is the bandwidth constraint what we have and we know that gpus are much much strong when it comes to the flop operations or lot many thing because chips are much much stronger but all things were constrained by the bandwidth the gpu as a device provides so similarly here in this case one of the challenges is on the inference so somehow we, though you could able to try the multi headed attention one of the challenges is inference because every time we need to get keys and also values pair for each of the tokens for each of the head and for each of the layers through the bandwidth which is available which is a constraint to the main chip of the gpu only then you can able to you know compute the things faster so in short going with the mha where inference is very slow right and that's why google came up with a concept called multi query attention the concept for both multi query and gq are very very simple i think you will come to know once i have explained this and uh, i think i'll also paste few of the resources in the comment section or maybe in the description section of the video so in the multi headed attention each of the queries in the heads has corresponding keys and values so as the name says here it is called multi query in the multi query attention we have only one copy of keys and values for multiple queries in the sense for example let's take this so for typical attention here we have eight heads that means obviously we will have eight queries but instead of having eight keys and values we end up having only one key and values and that's it and this is what nothing but multi query attention so what's the use of having this of course by seeing on a high level we will come to know that 
roughly if you have like h that means number of heads here it has been reduced by one divided by that one next of it so number of memory constraint here it has been reduced very drastically in turns it has also increased the speed that means inference speed of it so that's what it is a multi query attention but there is also cons of it that means it it was also found out that the performance of multi query attention degrades when it's compared to multi head attention what is a traditional or a typical attention you can call it as so we will talk about how people create multi query or impact group query attention as well but taking a couple of step back and usually this is also a trend being followed in it or wherever the problems you can see it as so in the mha we have eight heads and we have eight keys and values and in the multi queries we have eight heads and we have one keys and values so typically when we have these kind of scenarios to, if you want to get the advantage of both we usually go with the hybrid approach right and in this case the hybrid approach turns out to be grouped query attention what does that mean instead of taking all of the eight heads of keys and values and instead of taking only one we will be ending up with some balance between these two that means instead of taking one or instead of taking all eight we will take some values between 1 and 8 in this example i'm talking about 8 or that depends on what architecture you are using in this case we'll taking a 4 it is kind of an acting as a balance well balanced between the fastness as well as the performance which we wish to get in the multi head attention that means we take like here also we have eight heads and we also have the eight queries we started grouping the queries that's what the name says grouping the queries and when we group the queries we will have the corresponding key values only for the grouped queries in that case the in even the same will be repeated for the rest of the group queries too so in this case number of keys and values will be increased compared to multi query but the same keys and values will be decreased compared to multi head whatever the advantage we used to get in the multi head that is performance mostly or if not 100% definitely it is near to the 100% when you try to use group query and also the inference reduces so the, what is how how do you say it is reduces here we have 8 and we here i have 1 that is 1 8 is the improvement we see when you use multi query and here if we have a group query which is four keys and values pairs and we have 8 that is like half right i think roughly 2x the speed of the inference when you come to mha so let's take i think couple of key takeaways in these two so as a speaking i was just speaking about or talking about on these two queries i think we uh, gqa g is a terminology generally used in this case gqa4 that means four keys and values and as long as g is greater than 1 and less than h we can say that this is a performing better than multi query and it is faster than the multi head attention and also one of the key aspect in the paper explained which i liked very much is there is something called up training that means i was talking about initially one of the challenges is on the inference side and not much really on the training uh, side so if that is and also talking about multi query and all definitely multi query head attentions has a better performance compared to these two so if you want to have the group query attention or even for a multi query attention instead of training the model directly with these two you better go ahead with the multi head training at the first place and once you are done with the multi head training you will obviously will have the checkpoints and using those checkpoints you can able to convert this into multi query or group query attention and that's what they call it as up training i'll talk about up training a bit uh, after uh, one minute so in this case so we need only one key and one value right 
so instead of trying the model with one key and value you try with a multi height and if you want to have the one value and the key the inference you take all the values and average it that's what we typically call it as mean pooling you also do the same thing for keys and that's what we also call mean pooling and we have end up with keys and values and the researchers have experimented a lot on top of this they tried initially this as uh, initially uh, random vectors they tried taking one of the heads they tried taking only one values they did lot of things but only taking the values average of values average of keys or mean pooling you can say worked very well same 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 topics or same methodologies goes for grouped query attention too they take the first two values and average it and they take the third and fourth they average it similarly goes for all of the values and all of the keys and that's how we end up with having a grouped query attention but on top of that they also found out that if we continually pre training because when you see it there is a you know change in the network structure and we want the overall model to adopt to it to the adopt to that newly structured right and if they did a training for example multi query if they did a continual training let's say for a subset of the data and maybe a 5% of the data if they do it and we can see a similar performance or a nearly a good performance of multi headed attention same thing goes for a grouped query attention too it is just that group query even though if we don't do the up training what does that mean by when i say up training means you take the values and you mean it and once you take a mean you do the continual pre training or whatever the base model was trained on you take some percent of the data maybe 5% or 10% of the data and do the further tuning so that the new structure i think the values will be you know uh, updated according to the new structure of the network uh so in the group query even though if you don't do this it generally works but for multi query you need to do that but on grouped query even if you do the up training obviously the performance will be increased and the the group query there was i think it is also explicitly mentioned that it was not defined or designed for encoder models because of by the nature of it it can be parallelly done and only in the decoder we have this iteration right where the output of the first um, it will go into the next token and the second token it will go into the third token and on so this is more suitable for the uh, decoder only models but in the multi query attention of course on the sense we are talking about inference and we know that for a fact that decoder models has a problem of or the challenges of the inference and uh, in the multi query attention they people tested on encoder model encoder decoder only model decoder only model and and, uh, and we found out that in all of three cases we have found a significant improvement in the inference time and uh, before we end up with i think one of the interesting instead uh, i think what do you say interesting thing which i uh, found out was uh when you try a model on a bigger data set or a bigger when you try a bigger model we use a something uh, we use a technique called sharding that means that we use a top, uh, sharding will be used when the model is big enough where we we cannot able to sit it in a single device or a, a single uh, what you call node that's where we divide the bigger model into chunks of course there are a lo- lo- lot of method i'm just simplifying it maybe i assume i'm not org simplifying it it will be in different devices and in the multi query attention we know that you know there is only one multi query uh, only one key and values though it is sharding is done on the model side same key and values has to be repeated over the number of nodes and it is a redundant but if you go with the group query we do you need not go over the redundant of storing the duplication of key and values across all the nodes and we can shard accordingly in such a way that this redundancy need not be seen in the group query attention so that's all i to say it on the multi query attention and group query attention so in short uh, of course i'll take some of the example i think one of the example of multi query attention is palm model which released by google 
and you take any model recently released be with mistral or i think uh, whatever the models every model more or less following even the gamma model which released by google recently they are following gqa even llama llama models for a bigger model i think 70 billions or 34 billions they are using group query attention so in short group query attention has been the new trend as on when the model size getting bigger because the problem of inference and we have the problem of inference because of the bandwidth we have also other techniques like flash attention which we can make use of it to increase the inference speed so with that I think I'm going to stop here. In the next video, we'll talk about what is KV cache, what is sliding window attention, and what is paged attention. So thank you so much for watching this video.